What's up guys, Jaber right here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Crossout. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we're checking out some of your creations and we're starting off with this one. This is a tsunami cannon with the cockpit cabin and some boosters. And you actually get the 40% more damage because of the cockpit cabin. You get it really quick with this build. So if you press the booster button once, already 40%, 40%, 40%. 40%. So that's really quick. So this is going to be very interesting. The second build is a steam wheel build. You guys know he builds really, really cool looking builds. And this one is definitely one of them. Really cool looking. It's a double graphic star build with an Aegis shield. But I usually have a hard time playing these builds because the graphic stars just fall off way too quick. And we only have two of them. So uh, I hope this one works out. I love the build. I love graphic stars but they just fall off way too quick for me. And for our third build, we have this one from Kirov. This thing looks so scary. <laughs> I'm not sure what to make of it. It looks like it's not gonna work, but I've heard that this thing is a monster. So we're gonna try it out as well. Look at those aggressive hover catchers up there. This thing uses six gremlin shotguns with a Catalina cabin and a bunch of Sabbath wheels. Should be interesting. Let's see here. We're a little bit overweight. We'll fix that only 2K durability. And one, one cooler, one radiator. We have a, uh, a verter here. Yeah, this thing, uh, this thing looks like it's gonna slap. So yeah, these are the three builds we're gonna check out. Now you guys should sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, guys, welcome to Old Town. So we got a boosted build here, boosted cannon build. So let's see if it can actually. That was uh, a thousand damage shot. That's not bad. Ooh, we got Dave here. Ooh, let's get away from Dave. Oh, we have someone trying to peek here. Hello, Kaiju build. Oh, that was actually a great shot. Uh, let's fall back. I hear missiles coming in. Uh, that kaiju built might... Oh, okay, we made it out. Um, no damage yet. That's good. That's good. We still have 116 boost left. Let's go back in. Like the instant we press the boost button, we get a 40% damage increase. Oh, that was... Okay, that worked out. Kind of. Uh, okay. Ooh, this guy. 400. I think I'm missing a shot. The reload is kind of on the slower side, but, you know, it's not super bad. That was better. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> don't. Don't. Okay. Eh, kind of works out. I'm going to help this guy out. Oh, it's just a fuse droner. Oh, we can still. There we go. 700. Um, I was expecting a little bit more damage from this boosted cannon build. I mean, that again. Oh, yeah. I missed that shot. Ooh. Yeah, that again. I don't know, man. The tsunamis. Their damage is kind of inconsistent. That's a good shot. So far, I like this build. Yeah, it's inconsistent. Between 700 and 900 damage. We're going to go back around. Our boost is almost ready. Oh, what the hell was that? I was using a retcher and... Okay, okay, okay. We need some distance. So we can actually, like... Oh, he's using uh, trombones. All right. Yeah, there we go. We got some distance. We're going to go back in. He's almost dead, I believe. Yeah, that was a good shot. Oh, I got his uh, most important stuff. Er, oh, you cap. Eh. I mean, this build's okay, especially on this map. Uh, let's see how it does on a bigger map, though. Oh, he beat me by one point. Unacceptable bot. All right, we are at the factory, a much bigger map. Ooh, we have targets there. Uh, Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, 800. Ooh, is, am I going to right? No, I don't. I don't think that's a smart uh, way to go. Uh, so let's get a little bit some dis let's get some distance, and then um, get back in there. Oh, we rammed up. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I forgot I had blades in the front. Oh, this guy rammed me with a young. No, I don't know. Uh, let's get freak a little bit. Oh, I hit my teammate there. Sorry, man. Mm, I kind of messed up there, but it's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go for the human player. Oh, the beautiful. Yeah, the damage is kind of on the low side. Kind of disappointing. I mean, these are legendary cannons. They should smack a lot harder than this, in my opinion. Yeah, see? I mean, with the bo this would boost it uh, perk as well. We got one leg off. <laughs> oh, we lost a few blades there. Uh, I'll get him. I'll get him. I'll get him. Yeah, don't need boost for that. Oh, uh, yeah, this build is cool. It's cool. I like it. 
Not super effective, just, you know, fun build if you're bored. Oh, last target. Let's get him. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not the most highly effective build, just a fun old build. All right, guys, we are at the Sandy Gulf. I got Kirov's build. So this guy is the closest target. Does not look like they have Doppler. Any type of radar. So this should be very easy. Oh, I gave him an alert there. Oh, his legs fall off super quick. Let's focus on the... Oh, wow, the gorillas fall off super quick. I am getting hit pretty bad, though. Let's make him turn around. The auto cannons have a slow third rotation speed. Wow. That is... Yo, the gorillas have very low durability. The fact that they only took a few shots... I mean, it makes sense giving up durability for speed. But that was a little bit too quick. Oh, they have four players left. We got Felty Boy. We got Reaper here. Oh, Reaper took a direct hit. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I think I messed up there. Yeah, that's... Uh, no match for me, dude. <laughs> this build's pretty strong. Uh, that's a machine gun build, though. This guy is using... Oh, Corvos. I'm confident in Kirov's build. Oops. oops. Okay, maybe not that it can climb. Oh, it can climb. Oh, crazy. Corvo's build is panicking so much. It's funny. Wow. This thing is amazing. I still have all six of my... Gremlins, wow. That is amazing. Alright, guys, we are at the fortress with the little custom artillery thingy over here. Looks like everybody's already hugging it. So what I'm gonna do is actually activate it. If I actually can't. I mean, like, come on, guys. I wanna... Oh, somebody already activated it. That's dumb. If everybody's gonna keep hugging it. Anyways, I'm heading out. Uh, we got cruel, oh, cruel spider. Oop, I know that spider. That's a, that's a tough spider to deal with. Mm, we're gonna make them push up. Hey, look, we got someone here. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Come on, push up, push up. There we go. This guy decided to push up. He was confident in his um, Athenas there, but I know Athenas are cool and all, but they kind of suck to be honest. I mean, he's doing great so far. He stripped most of our armor there, uh, but let's uh, let's fall back a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that Athena is kind of rough to deal with sometimes. It, it's really inconsistent. Okay, looks like they oh uh, they got the uh, the artillery thing now. All right. Oh, we are doing pretty good. I mean, we got still we still got everybody on our team. Uh, let's go for this guy. Looks like Cruel is hunting me down a little bit. Uh, this is the Astros user. Oh, looks like the artillery targets the whole map, not just the cap. Interesting. Oh, this guy's gonna get... <laughs> oh my god, that was such a perfect shot for him, but he's dead now. Yeah. Alright, guys, welcome to the abandoned town. Now, this is a temporary special deathmatch, or team deathmatch. And this might actually be the game mode where this build might do really good. Just because you can respawn. Because if you are in a normal PvP match and you lose your guns, you're pretty much screwed. So I think this mode might serve its purpose for some builds, which is actually kind of cool. Okay, not really a, anything to fight here. Just uh, shooting that guy. Uh, but most of the people are over here. So let's see if we can actually, like, get a three kill or triple kill. Oh, it's a 4v4. Interesting. Hmm, that's odd. I thought it was, like, supposed to be, like, an 8v8. All right, here we go. Activating both perks at the same time. No, no, no. Can't really deal with multiple targets. I got the auto cannon there. I mean, I still have my guns. You know, you know what? Let's activate shield. Let's get this guy. Yeah, we actually, we actually kind of did it. We, we we survived the three v one. Actually, a four v one. Someone's back. 
Oh, but yeah, that's probably the beefiest one. Oh, crap, too late. Uh, this build is, um... It's good. Just a bit inconsistent. Alright, guys, welcome to the volcano. We got our third build here, our Steam Builds Double Gravistar build. Uh, let's heat him up, because I think this guy is a bot. So it should be pretty easy to take care of him. Oh, no, it's not a bot. Uh-oh. Uh, mistakes were made. <laughs> I just ran away. Uh, we're going to have to wait on them here. Let's charge up our Aegis again, though. Oh, they lost all their bots. Whoa. That was... Poor them. All right, cool. Uh, I think we can climb up here and actually... Yep, there we go. Oh, poor guy. Oh, oh this was uh, super easy. Hello, Ooze. Man, that uh, favorite cabin bird really came out clutch there. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's charge everything up again. Our guns are still heated. Got the bird active. All right, everything's ready. Let's go back in. Uh, we're going to use this uh, upper area here. So we don't get shot while approaching them. Uh, one's an auto cannon and one is a uh, minigun. I'm going to go for the minigun here. There we go. He's done. Got a zigzag, just like the Apocalypto movie. Oh, <laughs> oh man. That zigzagging really messed him up. <laughs> uh, this was good. This was good. All right, guys, welcome to the Marble Quarry. I still love this map. It's nice and small. A lot of places to hide. Oops. I actually should have uh, activated the favorite perk. Activating now. There we go. Got him. Uh, now we need to charge everything back up. We're just going to work on the bots for now. We don't have Catalina, so we don't need it. But, you know, it's still better to get rid of the bots early. Uh... Oh, we got Gimpite. Oh, we're going to go for Gimpite. Bot? See, that's what I mean. The bot's going to kind of aggro on me here. See, Gimpite is one of those... Oh, I activated both first at the wrong time. But... Oh, we lost one. How? Oh, no. I'm dead. 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 Come on, Alexis. Don't do this to me. Somehow we lost one. I think it's because of the bot. Mm, that guy, all right, cool. We have ages and everything, but let's get this guy. Oh, crap. What? What? Oh, yeah, that's eh. kind of stuck there. The graphic stars, I, I like them, man, but sometimes they're just. <laughs> Dude, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Now, as I was trying to explain, the Gravis stars feel like Lancelots. Once you get a kill or maybe two kills, that's it. They're pretty much uh, useless because they're going to fall off. So these have, I believe these are fused for range and more damage and more durability. But 215. But I think for weapons that are close range, they need a little bit more durability. Uh, let's take a look at the shotguns. This one has 165, but it's this rarity is low. This one has 229. I guess they're all like that. This one has more, though. Yeah, I guess they all have low durability. I, I do wish they had a little bit more. They fall off too quick, man. And especially with the range and all. I, I'm just complaining here. I just want my Gravis Stars to be a little bit better. They are super strong, but they're also... I don't know. They're like glass cannons, I guess. But yeah, hopefully you guys still enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about the Gravis Stars in the comment section. Now. But also, let me know which builds was your favorite. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Have a great day. Peace.